Hello friends, my name is Rajkumar Tenwa. Today I will discuss about the use of MATLAB inbuilt function within a Simulink model. I hope you have watched my previous video in which I have discussed about the uh, implementation of MATLAB script within a Simulink model. If you have written any script or uh, you have implemented something in MATLAB then how you can utilize that in the Simulink model that I have discussed in my previous lecture. But today I'm going to discuss about the MATLAB inbuilt function, right? As you know, MATLAB has a lot of inbuilt functions and by using those functions, we can perform a lot of tasks in the MATLAB and we can implement complex problem in the MATLAB very easily. So if we get that functionality inside the Simulink model, definitely it will be very helpful for us. So today I'm going to discuss about that particular block. So we have one block in the Simulink that facilitates us to uh, use the MATLAB inbuilt function inside the Simlink model. So let's see how we can use that block. Open the Simlink, create blank model. Okay. So first of all, I'm taking uh, one constant block, right? Okay. And uh, after that, we have user defined function. So this is the interpreted MATLAB function. So this is the block. By using that, we are going to use the MATLAB inbuilt function, right? And uh, we can use one one display block. So uh, if you uh, if you already know the name of the block, you can just double click and write the name of the block that comes automatically. So this is also one way by which you can get the block but the condition is that you should know the name of the block right so I just connect this okay so at this time I am entering here one matrix right so one two three and four five six so in the constant block we can enter the matrix also right apply okay so at this time you are watching the size of the matrix but if I resize this block you can visualize the data what I have entered right now uh, I want to perform some matrix operation okay so just uh, want to flip these these elements from left to right okay so I'm using the flip LR this is the function already we have used this function in the MATLAB and uh, I can also demonstrate at this time this functions uh, suppose uh, I have some matrix A is equal to 1 2 3 then four, five, six, okay? And if I write flip LR, then A, you can check the outputs. So simple, it is flipped, three, two, one, okay? Three, two, one, and this is four, five, six is flipped, six, five, four, six, five, four. So it is flipped like this, okay? So uh, this is the function of the MATLAB, inbuilt function, so we want to use this function inside the uh, simulation. Okay, so here I am writing this function, what is the MATLAB function and uh, automatically it will take this as the input. So uh, if you want to write some input, you can write a U if required. If you write like this, it will also work. Okay, so I am just writing only flip LR. And what is the input that is already provided in this block? So it will take that as input. Okay, and apply. Okay, so in this case, uh, because I have taken the input as the matrix. So a scope is not the suitable uh, output device. Okay, so I have to use here display. So I use the display, right? Now run the model. So uh, I'm getting the output, but uh, not visible. So I can resize this. Okay, so you can check here. Something has done, but it is not exactly what we want. Okay, so actual uh, what is happening here? It is flipping, okay? It has flipped all the elements and after that it is reading because uh, at this time we are just showing all as the one dimensional uh, vector, right? As column vector we can say. So it is just reading like this, three, six, two, five, one, four, okay? In one dimension we can say, uh, we are accessing this array. So uh, it is working perfectly, no problem, but if you want to check or if you want to visualize in the exact manner as we uh, watch in the MATLAB, for that purpose, we can do one thing. We can reshape the output of this function. So for that, we can go to the library browser. 
just go to the math operation so here you can check uh, there are a lot of blocks these all blocks are really very useful and further videos we will use all these blocks so here we have one block that is reshape right so I am going to use this block and put this here okay so at this time you can check what is the size of our uh, matrix or what are the dimension of the matrix so it is a uh, 2 cross 3 okay 2 rows 3 columns so the output should also in the same manner because we are just flipping the matrix okay so the output dimension is customized and uh, it has 2 rows and 3 columns right apply okay now you can run so now you can check so there's 3 2 1 now you can check here 3 2 1 6 5 4 now it is looking perfectly okay now if you want to do uh, suppose transpose transpose of this matrix you can do the transpose also we have the function uh, in the MATLAB we just use one symbol but uh, here we cannot put that we have to use the function so transpose is also function in the MATLAB so you can perform the transpose also but in the transpose because you have fixed the uh, size because you are, you are reshaping that okay so when you will transpose it the number of row and column will change so just to watch the result clearly you can just change the row and columns so display will be properly in that case yes now you can check here one two three is converted to the column okay so whatever the MATLAB uh, function we have we are able to use all those functions using this interpreted function okay if you want to perform a uh, square root sqrt so obviously it is taking input uh, whatever the things are coming it is taking all those as the input okay so you can perform the sqrt and uh, for sqrt you can change the dimension you are required same dimension right yeah so here you can check this is the square root okay so you may think that uh, every time we have to change the dimension of the race function definitely you have to change the dimension if it is required but uh, actually this race function is not required uh, to solve this particular problem because uh, the interpreted function has one additional function that is collapse 2d result to 1d okay so actually this is checked that's why we are getting the 1d result okay so output signal type is auto it will take the output automatically so we are not required to perform this thing okay actually I want to just uh, show you the importance of only uh, the tick mark this particular <laughs> option right so if you uh, unmark this particular option you can get uh, your result uh, according to your uh, expectation or as, as per your requirement okay so um, uh, just to give an idea about the reshape block I have included this reshape block but actually it is not required here right so if I remove this at this time and directly connect okay now you can check the output at this time it is performing SQRT you can check here uh, suppose uh, I change transpose so you can check here automatically without using the reset function we are getting the required output what we desire right so I think uh, now it is clear how we can use the interpret function and you can take some other uh, input also uh, suppose uh, you take some clock suppose you want to uh, draw the sine wave right and I'm using this interpreted function right clock and after that I'm using the scope so this is a different problem so I have the scope and in this case I'm going to use the sine function okay so sine apply okay run so you can check the output sine wave okay so in this way you can uh, utilize this function so I think uh, uh, you can use this function in your further models that will make your work little bit easy so I hope you have enjoyed this lecture if you enjoy this lecture please like and share thank you